Welcome back everyone, Toys Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys Superpowers video. We have a brand new wave to discuss, so thank you all for being here. This should definitely be a lot of fun. For me, the McFarlane era of superpowers is just kind of a, yeah, there they are, I'll grab them, and you really don't have to do much, which is nice. They're relatively easy to come by, at least now. I know the first couple waves were kind of iffy with specific characters, especially, but whether ordering them online, going into GameStop, Walmart, Target, when the new waves start to trickle in, usually it's easy to come by, which is most appreciative. What the DC Multiverse doesn't achieve, I feel like the superpowers definitely does, especially in just bringing back the fun of old school looking articulation, characters, vehicles. And speaking of vehicles, I'm very interested if you supported, for lack of a better term, the McFarlane Kickstarter for the Black Manta sub and that new Bat vehicle. I myself picked them up, but I'm just curious on whether or not you did as well. Before we get started, as always, if you are interested in anything we'll be talking about here today, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below, all the usual places, places that I use, places that I recommend. So thank you for using my links. It helps the channel to grow. Now, first and foremost, we have a new Batman. I know, shocker, right? <laughs> This one, though, I definitely like. It's utilizing the second Superpowers Batman body with the blue and the gray. That was very cool. I absolutely love that figure. And this one, utilizing the same body type now with the black and the gray. I like the retro feel of it. If you don't like blue and gray, now you got black and gray. This will definitely resonate with a lot of Superpowers collectors. Or maybe you're just a casual collector. Everyone wants just kind of an old school Batman figure. Now, one thing to point out, yes, he does have a cloth cape, but there are no accessories. And I really do feel that even though this is just a repaint, you need to start giving us some accessories with these characters. It's kind of a no-brainer. It offers a little bit more, a little bit more incentive, especially if you don't really care about getting variants, perhaps you would get it for the weapons. I know I've definitely done that for figures in the past. Batarang, something very simplistic to put in his hands. Although just to point out, I'm pretty positive that this Batman has double-fisted hands. So perhaps they're onto something there, but maybe we can get Batmans that have open hands coming soon. That would be oh so awesome. So all carded up, ready to go, the new black and gray superpowers Batman. Continuing on, we have the newcomer in the form of the Riddler. And this is, of course, a newcomer in the sense of superpowers McFarlane era, but it's kind of a deep cut for those of you in the know about super amigos and superpowers and all that. Now, for me, if I'm being honest, I love my deep cuts. I like my little winks and my nods. I feel like they've already done this, and I feel like Mattel did this way back when. Every time they seem to do this now in reference to superpowers, they go, hey, you know what? Remember those old super amigos that were only available in South America? Well... Let's put him on the Hal Jordan body, wink, wink, and then we'll make a Riddler out of it. Well, let's say this. That's all fine and dandy, but wouldn't a normal Riddler for the McFarlane era be a better decision in that sense to stop winking and nodding too much? Because, yes, we love nostalgia. We love that retro feel of it all, but sometimes it gets a little too heavy-handed, and because it's been kind of done to death... Maybe we have the self-control and we pull back just a little bit. I do like it. Again, I like my little winks and my nods. But where's his Riddler cane? <laughs> if you're going to do it, I mean, give him the Riddler cane. That would be most appreciative. I am curious because of the angular nature of the photography. I probably did this on purpose. I'm wondering if the ring from Hal Jordan is on there, too, because I do believe it was on the original Riddler issue when they did that way back when for the Super Amigos. Either way, again, it says what it says, but it is nice to have the Riddler entering the superpowers arena. Next up, we have a Superman villain on a new Superman body. More on that in just a few, but Bizarro makes his debut. And in case you didn't know his name, it's written on a little slab of slate, and he's also number one. Speaking of being done to death, it feels like Every single time we do a Bizarro figure in any way, shape, or form, it doesn't matter the company, guess what Bizarro comes with? The necklace 
with the slate. I know it's just become kind of like Riddler gets a Riddler cane. Bizarro gets his name tag. I totally get it. But maybe we do other things sometimes <laughs> just to kind of freshen it up, kind of make it your own. You know what I mean? Instead of always resting on the shoulders of everyone that's always come before. And I say that knowingly as my name is Toy Shiz and I'm based off of the old toy company, Toy Biz. <laughs> Don't listen to what I'm saying. This new Bizarro is absolutely awesome. I like the head portrait that they got for him. He has the cloth cape with the Superman logo on there. He's got the proper blues. He's got the proper reds. He looks great, I have to say. Now, I I'm assuming, for whatever reason, that you could take off the Bizarro name tag. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. But on the off chance, they've glued that in there because they do wild, weird stuff. Hey, I I'm just hoping. <laughs> Just say, fingers crossed. And I like that on the card, they reversed the Superman logo. I think that that's pretty cool. Even though the name tag is clearly right uh, in front of what we're seeing photography wise. Hopefully that's reversed. It's not reversed on the back. Just saying. So hopefully it's reversed on the front. But again, if you like Bizarro, you can pre-order him now. Which brings us to... I think one of the best figures, the most, let's say I've been looking forward to this since the initial first wave because I don't really like the Supermans that they've done up until this one. Now you've got the proper red, the proper blue. He's got that nice, fancy Superman shield logo there, and he's a smiling. Isn't that great? Now, I'll be honest with you. I think that the head portrait could use just a little tweaking, if I'm being honest. Like, it's fine, but maybe just a little tweaks here and there. And change the head portraits as we keep doing Superman figures. Don't don't just always keep the same ones. He's got the S on the back of the cape. That's a thumbs up. Ready to go on the card. I'm stoked. I really feel like with the blue and gray Batman, this will look great. He'll look good with that weird punching vehicle that was in wave one. This is up, up, and away, we'll say, for the Superpowers line. I'm very excited for all of this. And I don't have photos now, but I'm being told, and this is, of course, subject to change as of this video, we'll just say, that there may be two other figures in this wave, but they will be gold variants of figures that you already have. And again, to get them, either you can go to GameStop, usually they have those as single cards, or if you order the entire waves, let's say off Entertainment Earth, you'll be able to get them. But as of right now, treat it as four, potentially two other ones that we will see in just a few minutes as of this video going up. So that's gonna wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new wave of the McFarlane Toys Super Powers line. I'm very stoked on this wave, to be honest with you. I like the Batman, I do like the Superman. You could say all day, oh man, more of those. Yeah, these are kind of better renditions of the ones we've gotten prior, and it's fun to get the Riddler. It's fun to get Bizarro. So, all in all, thumbs up. I like this. I I'm definitely going to be getting these. You have heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything superpowers. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, stay tuned. I do have the latest wave of superpowers with Booster Gold and Metamorpho. We'll be doing a video on that. I know it's been taking a while, but there's just so much to talk about. Stay tuned and let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.